All right, so here we are again. Uh, it is now year five, day 196. Uh, since we're on a server, the game is just constantly running. So time is passing. Uh, let's see. I think the last stream, I was working on making the backpack, maybe? Well, I did it. <laughs> uh, and it's this key, yeah. So I have a backpack now. Uh, let's see, where, it's that, is it, is it Bobbles? No. Uh, oh yeah, 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 so the backpack was weird, because I was doing some testing with it. I think this was after last stream, because I think last stream we were working on making the backpack. And then I was like, well, how do I even access it? How do I put it on? Um, so there's a key that you bind, and I just bound it to, to uh, zero, because that's not being used for anything. But if you hold shift and the key you bind it to, it's the open backpacks key, there you go. It pulls up this UI. And what's cool is you can put your backpack into the backpack slot, and then you can give it, you can tell it things to automatically pick up and put into the backpack. So we could do that. So like, if I wanted to say automatically pick up, uh, I don't know. Nothing really, maybe arrows at some point, that sort of thing. But yeah, so I have I have a bunch of stuff in here. Basically the stuff I was keeping in my inventory and uh, other handy things that I was otherwise keeping in a chest. So we got that going. Um, I don't think, not a whole lot has changed in the storage room other than I added some more drawers there that I haven't used yet. And I did make some drawer upgrades for these so that we can store more cobblestone and more dirt. There was a quest to do that, but that seemed like such a good thing to do <laughs> for storing stuff that I just went ahead and do, did it anyway. Was that, um, yeah, that was in Steam Age too, which is the thing. I think, generally speaking, on the streams, uh, when it comes to like the tier that we're currently working through, I'm going to try to avoid doing stuff off camera, like making progress. But I may go back and like flesh out some of the things we may, might have skipped over, uh, especially if they're gonna help me. <laughs> um, and I'll, I'll give them an honorable, honorable mention afterwards like this. So there's upgrading drawers to make the upgrade template, which are, is kind of annoying because you need to make pistons and steel screws and you use an existing drawer. It, it's, hey, uh, aha. Uh, how do I say your name? Elzivatel. I don't know who that is. I'll have to check that out later, if true. Um, right, and then, so that quest led into making storage upgrades. So you need three of those, and you need iron plates, which we have lots of that at this point. Storage upgrade. Yay, all right, so basically, let's see, I think we can take that out. Well, no, we can't because there's too too many materials in there. But if there weren't too many materials, we could click this item and take it out and uh, click it into, you just hold the, uh, the upgrade in your hands and you right click and it applies it. It's very nice. All right, um, the other thing that I did was I went through a bunch of the, um, prepped some materials like resistors and uh, whatnot, and I made seven more electronic circuits. So we should be able to make some more LV machines today, uh, which I think will be good to do. I was looking at the basic sifting machine uh, and the basic macerator, that'll be handy, because up until right now, the only way we have to make flint, which we still need for things, like making chests and stuff, is, uh, <laughs> is to grind uh, gravel with a um, a mortar, still, even an LV, until we make the uh, the basic sifting machine. That will allow us to have a machine that will take gravel and make it into flint, like so. And then we get, then it goes like one to one, actually more than that, because there's a 90% chance we get a second one, and 80% uh, chance of a third one, 60, you know, so pretty good odds of getting several flints. 
per gravel, which is real nice. Oh, and we can go purify coal into coal with this as well. What else can we do? Ooh. I don't know what that is, but looks like purified materials. Need those odds for winning the lottery? Yeah, well. So what is the like purified malachite? Where's that coming from? Is that chemical reactor? Oh yeah, crushed into purified. Okay, chemical reactor is something we can also make at, in tier one in uh, low voltage. Uh, oh, or the dust, dust washer. That might be easier to do. We'll see. Or the ore washer. Basic ore washing plant. Gives byproducts. Um, I see. Okay, so that's probably better than... Um, let's go upstairs. So, obviously, I, I, I did some, like, resource gathering, material preparation stuff. Part of that was uh, I had a bunch of rubber logs from our rubber tree farm over there that I've been slowly working through. I did make one machine uh, since the last stream, which seemed like a, a good thing to kind of increase our productivity, like getting the most of our, our resources, which is the, uh, the basic centrifuge here. And so this seems good because you can give it um, like the impure piles of dust from macerating ores. And it does a thing. Specifically, if we go over here to centrifuge, putting that in and spending power, it gives you a pyrite dust. So the same thing you would get if you put it in like a cauldron and washed it. But you also get 11.11% .11 chance of getting a sulfur, uh, which is really good. And then uh, same thing for yellow limonite, except for it's a different byproduct. It's nickel dust. And I think we're gonna need nickel pretty soon. So I have a sense that maybe the ore washing stuff that I was looking at while we were downstairs might also be good. I'm not sure what, if the one is better or not, but this seemed like a good thing. And here's what we've made. Uh, just having this running for a little bit. So we got a bunch of copper from washing impure copper dust. But we also have 22 cobalt dust uh, more copper, yellow limonite, nickel, iron. Yeah, lots of lots of uh, things that are going to be iron and copper for us. I don't think there's anything special we can do with the pyrite dust. Maybe you can. Maybe we can centrifuge it again. Let's let's find out. What can we do with that pyrite dust? Okay, we can electrolyze it. Uh, uh, except that is an MV recipe, so won't be doing that for a while. But if we had a uh, medium voltage electrolyzer, we could take two pyrite and get iron and sulfur out of it. Uh, so I might just hold on to, maybe, could hold on to it. Otherwise, you know, we could just put it in a furnace and we just get one iron and we lose the sulfur. So we have options. So let's take up all of that. Replenish our iron supply. Uh, let's see, I'm storing sulfur right here. I'm up to back up to 191 sulfur. The rest of the dust go in this. So we'll store the pyrite and the cobalt. Now we have 23 cobalt. This is something that I think you get this in the nether. I could be wrong, but I think you get this in the nether. Cobalt ore. Um, yeah, so if you click on this, oh, it's space mining. Ore processing. Trying to find a version of the ore that has a tab that says where it's from. I don't know. There's probably something in the quest book, but yeah, anyway. So, uh, and then nickel. So we got a bunch of nickel now as well. 
I don't know why it's sorted like that, but yeah, over a stack of nickel now. The limonite, we could probably, so you can see there the chemical formula, it's iron, hydrogen, and two oxygen. So we could probably get hydrogen and oxygen out of that at some point, but I don't think that's super important. So I think we'll just smelt the rest of this stuff. Uh, save the pyrite for now and dump the rest in here. So that's gonna be stacks of copper and many stacks of iron as well, which is nice. Oh, and it's night, let's sleep. Hmm. Okay, uh, right. So I did, I'm pretty sure I increased the size of this after the last stream. So the problem we have now is that we can't keep up the amount of creosote this needs uh, for a couple of different reasons. Either we fill this, which isn't the case right now. No, okay, or we run out of wood, which is possible. No, still wood, still processing. Oh, there's still creosote in there. Why? Did I turn, leave this turned off? I could have, yeah, okay. How are we on steam? All right, the point of having the tank, which I did make this tank bigger as well. Uh, the point of having the tank here is that we ha essentially have a big battery of steam. Of steam. Um, so it is a little bit bigger, it's hard to see, but let's see back there the other corner. Uh, right, so I turned this off because I, right, so these were all empty because this had filled up with charcoal when I checked on this earlier today. And so I turned this off so our creosote could start replenishing. I'm pretty sure though that this machine will use more creosote than these can produce. I've not exactly done the math on that, but that seems to be the case. All right, put that back in the backpack. So, um, another thing, where are we at on this tool? Seven modifiers. Oh, maybe we could, we might be able to um, do the thing I wanna do on this. So the, the lumber axe is currently made out of nether rack. We can swap the head though to be a different material. Um, but a thing that we can do is we can um, make these reinforcement uh, modifiers. They're made by making an obsidian large plate, which we've seen making large plates. We, we did that before, right? So that's just pouring obsidian on top of a, a plate cast. And then on top of that, you put steel like two ingots of steel per each one of these. So that was like 20 ingots of steel plus a bunch of obsidian. So this is one of the things I was prepping because it would be really cool to have a lumber ax to gather wood that never broke. And if we put say 10 reinforcements on the nether ax, uh, I've been told it won't break. So let's, let's go do that. I think that'll be a cool thing to do. I was uh, hanging out in someone else's stream earlier today who is uh, uh, playing this pack, and they had not realized that was a thing you could do. So it's cool to be able to share that. I think one of the quest rewards I did off camera gave me a hearty breakfast, so I'm gonna eat that. It's very saturating. Won't need to eat for a little bit, which is nice. Um. I think this area, oh, there is a big difference. If you can, up on the uh, the mini map up there, you might already start to see. It'll be obvious once we get a little closer. I did do a little bit of work on the farm. It's a little squarer now, uh, a little flatter. <laughs> I think I, at least in the short term, have the crops that I want to use for 
food to put into the into the lunchbox. Uh, so we got some soybeans and some other stuff. It's it's stuff you've seen before. Um, there's some stuff where I've not finished the rows yet, and there's still a few empty rows we can put stuff in. But uh, let's see what I wanted to do. Do we have some obsidian? I think we have some obsidian in one of the boxes over here. It looks to me like the lumber axe. I can put a tough binding. So I think an obsidian tough binding will give us a few levels of reinforcement already. Oh, it's a bronze setting in there. Um, which will be good because that'll save us on these and we can use these for some other tool. Assuming I can make an obsidian tough binding with a tough binding pattern. And obsidian, yep. Yeah, reinforcement three, which is nice. Okay, can't put that in there. Um, I already have reinforced two. I said reinforcement. I guess it's reinforced. Is the 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 tense of the uh, of the word? I could probably. Uh, how many modifiers do I have in this tool? Four. So I would need. Two more. Honestly, what I should do is I should replace the steel head of this pick with something that has less durability so I can level it up. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll bother with that, but lumber axe. So we can put on that. Now that doesn't, we don't, we don't have any reinforced right now. So it just start, puts on that tough binding. It gives us three. Seems good. And then, so now we should be able to four. I'm kind of nervous. I think, hold on, let's, let's double check this. So this is just going to add one, right? It goes from three to four and it's going to leave this one here, right? Yes. Okay. And then it goes from four to five. All right. So we can just do this five, six, seven, eight nine unbreakable hey nate how's it going happy minecraft day yep it's modded minecraft monday i have a unbreakable uh, another rack lumber axe so now we should put a better head on that um something that'll chop faster Yep, Fox is here too. Um, we should have a mold, maybe, for the... Let's see, what is the part on this? It's a broad axe head. Is that a broad axe head? It is. All right, so... What do we have in here? Do we have steel? How many, how many ingots does it take to fill that? Or we could use, what else do we have in here? Alumite? Alumite could be good. Can I can I hit you over Alumite? Okay, no. Alumite. Okay, use. Okay, Molten Alumite. Oh, there's something, oh, we could combine it with Cobalt to make Aeon Steel. That might be even better. Alright, so the Bronze Axe Head. Uh, broad Axe Head. Also adds <laughs> Reinforced. Uh, usage Speed 7.3. Okay, that's interesting. How much is that? That's What's 1152 divided by 144? Anyone? 1152 divided by uh, uh, 144. Speed 4.7, speed. I mean, steel is almost as fast as alumite. I might just use steel. We almost certainly don't, don't have enough steel in there. Fortunately, I carry around a bunch of steel with me. That should be enough. Let's melt that in. Put away the obsidian. 
Uh, save the reinforced for later. Yeah, but, but now, now we have an unbreakable um, pick, or not a pick, a axe. And soon it will have even better uh, speed. Uh, Nate says, just came back to the hospital from a walk. So plans, so my plans to be home by the 19th has changed, but hopefully my daughter starts uh, beating her sickness and my youngest daughter is being uh, totally daddy cry baby. I couldn't leave the room until she slept. That is uh, <laughs> a mixture of things, right? But ho hopefully she uh, feels better soon. for this to melt. We're waiting for nighttime. Um, at some point, we're going to get back into the... Um, there we go. Um, IC2 crop sticks and the, like, the crop breeding and all that stuff. We are going to get back into that, but um, what we need to do is we need to make the, the low voltage assembler because that's going to make it much more uh, affordable to make crop sticks. All right, so let's do steel. Four, five, seven. Okay, yeah, that should be enough. There we go, we got a broad ax head. So we can swap out to the tool head on our lumber ax. Unbreakable, unbreakable stone bound. Here we go. There we go. Look good enough. All right. Actually, honestly, if I knew I was going to put steel as the head, I guess I could have left off uh, a couple of the reinforced from it, right? Because the steel broad axe head also adds reinforced too. So that was uh, a little of an overshot. But now that we have that, um, let's go check this out on the thing that I need <laughs> to cut down over and over again, which are these tall trees over here that we're using as a, a source of wood for our charcoal and creosote production. Uh, we're not gonna cut, uh, cut a bunch of trees uh, on the stream today. I just wanna demo with one. Uh, and then that will be something for me to do when I'm watching streams throughout the week. <laughs> All right, tree down, no durability loss. So now the issue is just dealing with all the items. <laughs> All right, welcome to my stream. For the next four hours, I'll be chopping trees. I mean, do you know how, how much time I've spent in the last week chopping trees to be able to get all the modifiers on this ax? To get to the point where I could put that reinforcement and make it unbreakable? It, it was more than four hours. All right, and then another tree will grow where that tree was. All right, so that tree gave us um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight stacks of logs and uh, three stacks of saplings and half a stack of apples. Uh, to give you a sense though, like I spent so much time chopping trees that I, I realized I should just put a drawer out here <laughs> so that I could do this because my inventory was filling up and I was having to run inside and dump everything in and come back out over and over again. So yeah, it was a lot. All right, so I'll be, I'll be chopping those trees and replanting them and I might, I might start clearing more area 
What's the MO? Uh huh, uh huh. Uh, clear some more area and plant some more trees and, and do that whole thing. The reason, though, for all of this is basically, um, I'll leave a stack just so that we can remember what that's for. You may have noticed, <laughs> I did, I did raise the level of this. I think what I'm planning on doing uh, you may have also noticed the wall has slightly been raised, and we have some some carved marble here. Something a little decorative going on. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ceiling of that floor down there. So in other words, uh, here, hold on. It's easier if I... Here we go. This, this place? <laughs> and uh, raise the ceiling up a couple blocks so the top of its level with uh, that entryway where I moved it so that we have a little bit more headroom in this room. That should still leave enough room if we want to expand this tank a little bit downwards. Um, and then I guess one of the things I was thinking of doing next is actually expanding the uh, our steam production here to add another one of these. And you may be thinking, didn't I just say that we're having a problem keep keeping up with the creosote? Well, the thing is, is so this is a, um, a liquid fueled, uh, right over there, liquid fueled uh, boiler, but there's also a solid fueled one. So we could actually take the uh, charcoal that we're producing from up there and burn it too. So that would keep the, uh, keep us from overflowing on charcoal, which should keep the, uh, creosote production coming as long as I keep on supplying uh, lumber wood here <laughs> for um, the coke ovens to produce creosote and charcoal so uh, yeah well I'll probably also need to make another one of these tanks to collect water I'm not sure like this is able to keep up with this I'm not sure if we had two was being a rookie on Nintendo Switch and a couple of games with wife on uh, uh, DBD. Is DBD on the Switch? Hey, Brainless. Welcome in. How's it going? All right. Um, Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. No, no. It's first person Factorio? Satisfactory? Satisfactory is kind of first person already. Anyway. Okay. So that is <laughs> caught up uh, of what what's happened since the last stream. I've been busy. Very busy. <laughs> All right. We got a quest book to figure out what we're doing next. Uh, so, like I said. Um, okay. So. Last stream, we got into LV, or we were in LV, and we uh, we did the wire cutter. It's CK3, but graphics dropped. Uh, imagine, imagine like CK3, but hmm, CK3, but Minecraft. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to to attend to some of the things like I I kind of uh, went a little bit out of order I think the thing we're supposed to do next is you're gonna hate this number one which is to make conveyor modules now um, one of the things I did because I really needed it was I made a, uh, a pump which is you're gonna hate this number two the electric pump and the reason I did that was after I made the centrifuge um, it had a problem, which was it kept on backing up because I was using this to process the rubber tree wood to get the sticky resin out. And a byproduct of that was methane gas, which collects here in, in the bottom. And I did have some cells so I could use the empty cells and like open this, click on this with the cell to get like basically a bucket, uh, a thousand liters of methane gas 
uh, and then put it in the tank, right? And this is also methane here. Um, but there, there's a better way. Uh, and I need my dolly to uh, move this out of the way. There we go. So what you can do if you have a crowbar, there we go. And I think we, what do we do? Do we right click it? Yeah. There we go. Look, it's an electric pump. So I had installed an electric pump into the bottom of this block, which uh, allowed it to pump out the methane gas into the tank that was adjacent to it. Uh, which is why that was full of <laughs> methane. Anyway, uh, hydrate. Will do. Mm. Needed that. All right, so uh, what we're doing right now doesn't produce any gas or liquid, so I don't need the, the pump on there. The pump does actually use, um, it, it pumps liquid, so liters per tick. So 640 liters a second. Uh, which is pretty good, but it also uses power, I'm pretty sure, when it's installed. Like, it makes the, the machine use more power, I think is true. So I should have taken that out uh, as soon as I was done, as soon as the tank was full, but I was being lazy. Okay, so um, now I think we're caught up. So uh, I am going to put these materials over here. And we're gonna look at the quest book and we're gonna do the conveyor module next, I think, which I have bookmarked right there. Um, so it's just rubber sheets and two motors and a, can, a tin cable. Okay, so we might actually even be able to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, ultimately, we're gonna need a bunch of the conveyor modules, a bunch of the pumps, a bunch of the, all of the things. Um, we're just not quite in a position to actually do that yet. So we're just gonna give it a shot. Uh, I was enjoying the last days of nice slippy walks and see it turn ugly during slush season. Yeah. I mean, on, on the one hand, walking on ice can be tricky, dangerous even for some. But, uh, you know, it starts melting and it's all slushy and then you need, you need to, you need to have some proper, uh, like rubber boots or something at that point. All right. So we need one more electric motor and we need a tin cable, tin cable. So do we have an electric motor in here? Can we make an electric motor? We have none of the stuff for that. Uh, let's see, let's take some things that we don't immediately need and we'll hide them away. I guess that, that'll be that. Oh, that doesn't need to be in there. That should go down in the blast furnace. Um, we need two iron rods. Hey, we got those. And then we need two tin cable, tin cables. There's one there. Fortunately, we have lots of 10. There we go. And then what else did I need? Four copper wire. There we go. Okay, and now, conveyor module. Nope, still need one tin cable. Let's make a few more tin cables. We'll need some more of those anyway. 14. Mm. Six for that. Hold on, let's put that in there. There we go. Ah. That was silly. I should have just craft, yeah. 
I should have just done this when I overshot, right? We'll just make 14, we have one left over. We right click, put that back in there. And now the conveyor module. We're gonna need a lot of these. Why did I just get hurt? I don't know, it's a mystery. Oh yeah, my, uh, my nutrition probably went down. I've not been eating enough dairy, so I lost some bonus hearts. Yeah, you're gonna hate this number one, was that quest. So what does the conveyor module do? Is, is a valid question. I believe it is actually a crafting ingredient for some things, like the basic packager, the basic assembling machine is good. It needs two of those, it needs two robot arms. But what the conveyor does is, um, say like this machine right here. This machine has auto item auto output, so it will automatically put its result into an adjoining chest. But what it doesn't have is an auto input in, unless we use a conveyor module. Now I can put a chest up against this and it will take items out of the chest and put it into the machine. And then I can use the crowbar to uh, pull it back out. So it's like the pump. It is a machine cover and there are more. <laughs> All right. It's very expensive right now, though. Put that there. We will need more. Okay. So, uh, quest book time. Hey, look, we got our we got our rubber sheets back, and a loot bag, and some other stuff. All right. Put those in there. There we go. Uh. So you're gonna hate this number one. It tells you <laughs> the first item you'll need a lot of. Uh, yep. And then uh, that unlocks this next thing, which is if you wanna cut diamond blocks into plates, it's time to get a new alloy, cobalt brass. So uh, first we need copper and zinc, and then we can make brass, and then we can combine brass and aluminum and cobalt. And guess what we have? Uh, well, I don't know if we have zinc. Do we have zinc? We might actually already have zinc. Nope. Oh, hey, look at that. We have four, uh, why is this not filtering? That's weird. We have four zinc ingots. We could turn that into dust. <laughs> uh, this box, oh yeah, I guess that was off camera too. I found one of the uh, Planet Energistics uh, um, meteorite things. I mean, I found it like months ago. It was over to the east. Hold on, map. Out. Um, somewhere out here. I came across it. Was it? Oh yeah, it's right here. So you'll see these on the map. Uh, and they're they're part of the Planet Energistics uh, 2 mod. It's like a meteorite and it's made out of a uh, sky stone in the middle of it is a chest. Um, there was a, um, a, like a plate and engraver thing in there too. I don't remember where I put it, but it's somewhere around here. But there were also some metals in there and stuff. I think that's where I got this. Anyway, it was somewhat, some, one of those things. We actually got our first, first stainless steel ingot, which I don't think is enough to do anything with, but it's our first one. We're not going to be able to make this stuff until, uh, <laughs> uh, what, MV, EV, HV? Yeah, HV. Something like that. It's going to be a while. Anyway, what are we doing? So we could do this. This is going to give us a cheeseburger. <laughs> and it's going to give us co cobalt brass, brass dust which would then get us to the point where we can make a saw blade. I think that's gonna unlock some things for us, but um, I don't know that I need that right now. Let's focus on what I really wanna do is I wanna get us the ability to make the assembler because that's gonna allow us to make some stuff that otherwise would be like the crop sticks that need a bunch of materials and are annoying to craft by hand. Let's let's make this concrete, right? So crop sticks. 
So normally, to make these, you need long wood sticks. You need four of those. Each one of those, you need to use a saw and a file on a, a log of some kind. The wood's not a problem, but we use up durability, especially before we had like steel tools. We would go through tools very quickly. So that's just for two, right? So we you use a lot of durability on your tools to make just a few of these, or we could use the lathe. So this is a route, right? We we um, we can use the lathe to make the sticks, and then we're done. Um, the thing I knew about oh okay okay so that we do get double the output if we use the assembler as well, right? So four of these make sixteen, whereas uh, eight of these made sixteen, whereas four of these made. One. Uh, so we get two crop sticks per each of those versus we get one crop stick for four of these. So that's a much better ratio, right? For spending some power. So if we had the lathe and the assembler, we could much more affordably make crop sticks and a bunch of other stuff. I'm pretty sure that's just kind of an example. So what do we need to get here? We need this. Uh, okay, so we're gonna make a robot arm. Uh, we can look up the recipe for the assembler. Uh, there are so many, but this one is the one that we're gonna make next. So the assembler, the basic assembling machine, is two robot arms, two tin cables, two conveyor modules, a LV machine hull, and two LV circuits. So we need one more conveyor module and one and two robot arms. Hey, you caught it, Nate. Um, yep. So let's let's do the things. So uh, let me go back over here, and then we'll go into here, and I'll add this to my list of things. Now, oh, it's not a choice. We get both two electronic circuits and a loop bag. Okay, I think what we're gonna do if we have time before the break, is that we're gonna make the two robot arms and then we're gonna go and open all of our loot bags that we've we've earned from all the stuff. So let's check this out. So robot arm needs, okay, so we need four electric motors, we're gonna need two electric pistons, we're gonna need uh, two LV circuits, a bunch of tin cables and steel rods. Okay, the steel rods, no big deal. Uh, the other stuff, maybe more so. Okay, so we need, if we need four of these, we need four magnetic iron rods. Uh, so the first thing we need are more iron rods, I think. So let's file some of those down. Our file is about to be gone and it's gone. So now we need a new file. <laughs> this, is how, this is how this goes, right? You think, oh, I'll make a thing, and then you need a thing, and then you need a thing, and yeah. All right, there we go. Half of the dur durability of that file to, to file those down. And then we need redstone. Oh, nighttime. Little lag as well. Hmm. All right, all right. Why do I still have the crowbar in my inventory? Let's put that away. All right, so uh, how do we make the magnetic iron rod? Okay, so it's iron rod and then four redstone. Check. So we needed four of those. I happen to have just about enough redstone. Well, more than enough, but roughly the right amount. Uh, and then, Oh yeah, if I'm gonna do the um, electric motors, I should do that here. So then we need, if we need four of these, we need 16 copper wire. And we have we have plenty, so there we go, 16. Thanks to the wire mill, we can make. <laughs> uh, that, and now we need more iron rods, which we actually have in inventory. And now we just need 10 cables, we need eight 
10 cables. Um, kind of a medium-ish term goal is going to be to get to the point where we like have a stack of all of the input things and we're making stuff a stack at a time. Um, I think we're not too far away from doing that. Look, we just made four. <laughs> we are a sixteenth of the way to making a stack at a time. Okay, so... Ooh. That was interesting. What did that... It looked like that sorted across my inventory and the inventory here at the same time. That was kind of weird. Okay, mostly what I wanted though. All right, so we got four of those. Uh, and then for the robot arm, now we need steel rods and tin cables. We need six, all those tin cables. Now, I think I mentioned in a previous stream, a thing that I wanted, I did actually make, because it became pretty affordable, the drawer key, which locks and unlocks drawers. It just needs one of those upgrade templates that I had made, uh, and some gold plate and rods, and it's, it's the same deal as like the iron plates and all that stuff. We can. We can use our new machines with some of the gold that we had stashed over there. But this allows me to uh, right click with the key and lock the drawer so it remembers what was in there before. So I can come back here. If I have more uh, 10 cables, I can, I can right click and it remembers where that spot is. Uh, so anyway, so that's a thing. All right, so we're Going to uh, put that there. We need two electric pistons. Yep. So these also need electric motors. We need two more electric motors. Uh, and four more uh, tin cables. Always a lot. Uh, okay, so also sm small steel gear that we'll need to make, and then we need to make. Uh, okay, so we should have the materials. We just need two more magnetic iron rods. Yeah, one, two. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, there is a machine that we can make that will magnetize iron rods for us that doesn't use a lot of power We just not made it yet. It's in the quest book. It's um, uh, Electromagnetic polarizer It's pretty inexpensive it just needs you know some tin wire of various forms and some iron rods and an LV machine hull Of course the LV machine hull LV machine casing Okay that's, it doesn't even need a circuit, which makes sense for something that is a, a, a basic polarizer. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, let's see, what do we need here? We need more iron rods and, oh wait, 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 wait. We can just leave this in here, right? Four of those, and then we just need more wire. I'm just gonna take a stack of wire and put it in there. Copper wire, that is. One, two. All right. And now, electric pistons. Need steel plates, steel rods. Well, steel plates we have. Steel rods. We have some in here. And then, how do we make this? Okay, okay, cool. We can make two. I really wish there was a way to just like keep the tools over here. All right, two electric pistons. 
All right, now what do we need for the robot arms? We just need uh, more tin cable. Hold on, you know, uh, how much how much rubber sheets that? Okay, not enough to make a full stack. We'll do 16. Okay, and then two electronic circuits. Good thing I had seven. All right, two robot arms. You're gonna hate this, number four. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then we get two electronic circuits back and a loot bag. And that opens the way for us to do the basic assembling machine. We do need to make one more conveyor, but I think what we're gonna do Put some stuff away here. And uh, I guess put these over here. Let me lock this. This will be where these things live. And we're gonna go up and we're gonna grab some uh, of the loot bags and open some loot bags before the break. Lots of coins in there. So we have seven, a nine, nine tier one LV loot bags. We got a fast food loot bag, a slow food loot bag, and two icy crop loot bags. So take these and we're gonna go back downstairs. And uh, I think what I could do, this will be good. Now that I have the, uh, the backpack, okay, I can't put the backpacks in the backpack. <laughs> That's not allowed. Um, we can hide the other stuff though. Now this will be good. Here's what we'll do. Do like this. Yeah, okay. That'll be good. All right, so we're gonna start with, ooh, let's do this. Can we do this? This is not gonna work. Okay. Ooh, starfruit smoothie. Not eaten yet. Okay, we'll have to eat that next. All right, so we got some pants. We got a IC2 crop harvester. I have no idea what that is or does, but that sounds cool. We get some more hydration cells. We got fertilizer. Uh, slow food is General Tso's chicken. It's all right. Uh, we got some coal. And then we have nine LV1 loot bags. <laughs> this is perfect because we can't mostly see what we're getting. Two farm valves. So that is interesting. Okay. Looks like we just, just had just enough inventory space for everything. So what do, we, what do we got here? We got a level three vanadium steel hammer it's pretty cool uh what is our i mean i think we have what is our hammer that we have in here so this hammer is level four because we made it out of diamond it's kind of pricey but there was a quest for it this one level level three is steel okay so it's like the hammer that we already have but that's good we got a potion of regeneration we got a hopper it's not nothing Kind of tedious to make. Some pressure plates, a fan. Uh, I don't know how that works. <laughs> okay, I can break it though. Uh, we got two deluxe cheeseburgers that I've never eaten. PB and J, not eaten before. We got uh, a bunch of saplings. I think I've gotten a set of saplings before. 
Uh, what else? I think that's that's about it. That's a pretty good haul. Farm block oil cell. Some oil. Internal star storage for Steve's cart. All right, lots of cool things. Uh, but we're gonna pause right here so I can go fill up my water and uh, stretch my legs, and we'll be back in just a few minutes with some more Greg Tech New Horizons. Here we go.